I teach at Park Middle School and I teach seventh grade English language arts and Washington State history. I went through a middle school training and one of the teachers said that, you know, uh, you'd be crazy th to teach at a middle school level. The kids are, are dealing with so many of the, the changes, you know, the adolescence and all those kind of things. And so it kind of made me a little leery of <laughs> wanting to be a teacher at a middle school. Uh, but they need somebody there that's confident enough in their abilities to be able to to keep them grounded. I, I constantly tell them that I want them to become detectives. I want them to, to explore all the questions that are out there. I don't want them to just think on the surface. I want them to go um, deeper with their thinking. And ultimately, I want that to lead into uh, a concept of them becoming a lifelong learner. I have a, um, a tremendous amount of adversity and uh, diversity um, within my classroom. Some of my students don't have some of life's luxuries as some other students might. I always want them to be thinking that they are in control of their lives no matter what the circumstances are. As long as they have control, then they have a choice. You get to decide who you're going to be in your life, not the situations that are surrounding you. Just yesterday I had a student who I taught four years ago that came to the school um, looking for me and, and he came into some hard times and I immediately I saw him and gave him a hug because it was more important for me to let him know that I still cared about him. And, and that it didn't just stop when I quit teaching uh, him at that point. The one thing that drives me to want to be a teacher is the kids. Um, waking up every morning and knowing that they're gonna be there, um, knowing that they support me as much as I support them, that's what gets me up every morning and it makes me happy to do what I do. I teach at Cascade Elementary here in Kennewick. I teach third grade. I've been teaching for two years. My first year I was a fifth grade teacher and now I'm a third grade teacher. The thing that inspires me most is that I can relate with the kids. I'm definitely a good example of a child at heart. Um, so I can always put myself in their perspective and get on their level. And I feel like I'm able to build that relationship. So it helps me teach and understand where they're coming from. Some of my attention getters for my kiddos are, I do chicka chicka and then they'll shout boom boom. And then we do power and they end up clapping all together. Uh, we're still working on that. The main thing that I try to challenge them to do is challenging themselves by coming up to the classroom, getting out of their box, not challenging me or asking me the questions, but changing gears and asking their peers and getting a discussion started amongst themselves. So I'll never forget when I came into teaching but there was one individual who I already knew was going to be a challenge. And I was scared and I was nervous, but that was my goal. I'm gonna get to this kid. Finally, one day, I don't know what it was, and I think it's because I never left him alone, I lit that fire underneath him. He came into class from the one student who never volunteered. He was raising his hands, and he was enjoying being in school. So that's one thing I'll never forget. I would say that that was my, my one ticket to knowing that I'm gonna be a teacher for the rest of my life. A teacher since 1993. I went into this job thinking that it was important to teach students about English, about reading and writing. And I would say that over the years I've changed from it's not just important to teach them the content, but it's important to be a good role model. It's important to teach them lessons about character, about how to handle adversity. High school students these days, <laughs> they are addicted to their phones. They're fun, they're creative, they're exciting, they're, they're great kids. It's important to me that my students know that I care about them. I think being honest with kids, especially high school kids, they can tell if you're, if you're being phony. At least the first month of school, I spend a lot of time building classroom community and getting to know the kids, sharing part of my life with them so they feel comfortable talking to me. Um, with my ELL kids, we do a lot of work about different cultures, where they come from. I try to show them, just through my work ethic, that if they work hard, they, they can achieve things as well. My hope for my students, I hope they have good lives. I hope that 
They don't let obstacles get in their way. I hope that if they want to go to college, that they do everything they can to go to college, or that if they want to go out into the working world right away or become parents, that what they want in life is what they truly want, that they don't settle for less than they're worth. I want them to believe in themselves as much as I believe that they're capable of doing. If I can do that, and as long as I continue to give 100% to make their experience in my classroom positive, then I'm doing my job.